What is the Common App and why is it so important? Today, hundreds of colleges accept the Common App, making it a great way to apply. There may be some colleges that do not accept the Common App and that's perfectly okay. Just be sure to check in with those institutions to identify the correct application that they use for students. The first step is to make an account at commonapp.org. You'll provide some simple personal information as long as some information regarding the type of education you're seeking. Once your account is made, it's time to start completing your Common application. You'll create a full list of the colleges and universities that you're planning to apply to. In addition to this, you may be asked to provide some standardized testing scores including the ACT, perhaps even some language proficiency scores, including the Duolingo or TOEFL. It's really great to have these things on hand just in case. Now, not all colleges and universities actually require standardized testing anymore. So it's a really good idea to make sure that you know what is required for that particular college before moving forward. It's a good idea to have this test information on hand ahead of time just in case you need it. The Common App also allows you to submit letters of recommendation. And these letters can be submitted straight through the website, making it easy not only for you, but also those who are writing those letters of recommendation. Finally, you'll write your Common App essay and any additional supplemental materials that that particular college or university has requested. We'll talk more details about the Common App in our next video. For now, I hope this information helps you start the common application.